How's it going guys? As always, Nick here from Toronto Pearson Airport. I uh, have about 45 minutes to board my flight to, actually first it's Taipei, then it's Bangkok, and then finally Chiang Mai, I'm coming. So I thought in lieu of all things that have happened, I want to make an episode, kind of like an intermirum episode of just talking about the progression over the last six months because since April, I would actually say since May 1st up until now, September 1st, a lot has happened. Um, I've uh, received my first shipment of my goods from Amazon or from my supplier in China, sold them on Amazon. I made my first $10,000 online, which is crazy. I still can't believe it, to be honest. I made uh, my first YouTube video and now I'm almost at 30 YouTube videos with 1,500 subscribers. I don't know how that's possible, to be honest. I didn't think that whatever I have to talk about you know, would have 1,500 people interested in, but as long as I'm providing value, I'm happy. And as long as you guys are getting something out of it, I'll keep making them. So uh, I think everything started, let's go back to the middle of April. April 1st is my birthday for all of you who don't know, which is probably the majority. <laughs> And um, once I turned 25, April 1st, 2015, uh, me and two of my friends, Kiefer and John Liu, actually went to a Red Bull competition that we got registered for and we qualified for. We were one of, one of the four Canadian teams to represent in a 165 team competition where basically Red Bull takes your wallet, your phone, and you have to travel from checkpoint to checkpoint all across Europe using only Red Bull cans as currency which I know sounds a little crazy, but uh, you know, if any of you are interested in anything that has happened in, in regards to that like little challenge, I'll actually post a link below to our team. Spoilers, we came in fourth. We were in first for almost half of it, and we thought we were gonna take it, but unfortunately we lost out on a couple of things, which not a big deal, it was a crazy experience. We've traveled over 4,000 kilometers, trains, we got a plane ticket for Red Bull, we got train tickets for Red Bull, we got food for Red Bull, and boarding and shelter and everything. And not to mention we've done a bunch of um, what are they called, scavenger hunt item lists that, for example, skydiving, trade Red Bull for skydiving, right? So if you guys want to do that, just check out the link below. I'll include it in the comments. But as soon as I came back from that, uh, I we took about a week extra in Europe after the whole competition was done. And uh, I arrived back around, I believe, April 25th or so, around there, yeah. And um, I've had my items just arriving. Like the last week of April is when my 1,200 units arrived. Um, so right after that, um, I, you know, kind of, I didn't really have a listing ready. I had like a very basic one, but I didn't optimize for anything. I had just a couple of photos that I thrown together, nothing really special. Um, we didn't have a PPC, they had nothing basically, they had the very basic minimums or, you know, min minimum bare requirements, so to speak. So I, I rushed it and within that one week I got everything ready, I made my launch, I used Review Kick to get some original reviews and then I used Sales Backer eventually, after the first, second week of May, I used Sales Backer to get uh, organic reviews after that, kind of uh, automated, you know, uh, email follow-up campaigns. And then by June, um, I think it was June 2nd, so May 2nd I made my first sale. It was my first day, I made three sales that day, I was on cloud nine. I ran into my dad's office, I was like, dad, look, you know, I'm, I made first, you know, 10 bucks online, how crazy is that? And he just looked at me, he's like, okay, good, you clean your room now. And I'm like, okay, well, <laughs> that's, that's uh, old school USSR dads for you. But uh, June 2nd, and I hit my 10K. Uh, sales just took off. Within by the second week, I was doing 20 to 30 sales of my item, and uh, I was ecstatic. I, I did the research, like I did the whole thing, you know, as Scott Volker talked about, because Scott Volker uh, was my primary uh, resource of information, uh, the Amazing Seller podcast. And then also, I just Googled stuff around. I, I found a couple of forums, and, you know, I basically word of mouth, and I found the information online. Basically, I, ta I taught myself. I never had anybody show it to me or, you know, a tutor or anything like that. So I made my 10 grand, and the big mistake that I've mentioned in a few of my videos, I ran out of inventory like a rookie. I, or, I made the order. By the time I had maybe a week or two of inventory left, I made my order. Didn't, get, didn't start getting made until about five days away from my listing going down due to, you know, no more inventory being there. And, of course, I went down. July was spent pretty much no sales at all. There were a couple of returns that were repackaged and, you know, resold. So there was that, but other than that, there was nothing. And at that point, I was at a high where like, wow, I found something that works. I'm going to reorder within a month. I'll be back at it. And this time I'm going to make sure I don't run out, especially for the Q4. But then, you know, also thinking like, I have all this free time. So I started, I made my first ever YouTube video um, of me talking about Amazon. I think it was around June-ish, like right as I was running out of inventory, uh, a month after I made my first sale in May 2nd. So in early June, I got ungated finally for the beauty category which you guys, I'm sure if you scroll down, you could see my uh, my first video ever. And I just decided like, you know what? It's a cool story. I kept calling, I kept asking for help. I kept re-revising everything. And you know, I think maybe other people are going through the same kind of problem that I can help them out with. So that was kind of my big motivation for that. And I made the video and I got 
just awesome feedback. You know, people are asking questions. I love responding to them. And then that video basically prompted me to tell my story. You know, zero, like being basically in debt. Um, I, I didn't, I don't think I delved into it in detail, but it was Christmas 2014, 25th of December. I was in that fraternity room where I filmed the video. It was completely empty, just the bed, a couple of things on the desk, that's it. I was uh, subletting it from another fraternity brother that was away uh, home for the holiday. I had no money, I had about 30 grand of debt, uh, no way out, like I didn't really know what to do until, you know, a couple of months later, me and my best friend Ryan, who you guys are gonna meet very soon, who's gonna be living with me and traveling with me for the next years to come, my best friend since grade seven, um, he proposed that we start a window cleaning company, which we did, and that kind of funded the whole journey. And so I made, I told my story, and after my, like where uh, the video that I told my story on, uh, the comments that followed were just a bunch of questions about it, Amazon related things. So it's, I have a lot of fun making these videos, although, you know, the timing and consistency could use some work, as I'm sure you'd agree. But I love making these videos, I love asking, uh, answering questions. So I kind of started answering questions one by one, I started making little guides, and then, you know, Amazon answers just kind of came about as like, you know, whatever. Um, as I'm sure some of you have noticed, if you're a subscriber to Gary Vaynerchuk, which I've mentioned before, the, my kind of mentor in marketing, not to mention he's from Belarus as well, uh, if you just search uh, the Ger uh, Ger hashtag, I think, Gary V Show, uh, basically you will see where I get the format of my Amazon answers from. Uh, it's basically a blatant, you know, ripoff of his, uh, his style, but I really like that. I really like the intro. I want to also have, you know, my own little kind of like musical intro of traveling and whatnot. And then question from a person, I riff on it. Question, I riff on it. And I just like that whole unstructured, you know, back and forth where I can tell you my thoughts as they come to me exactly. Like that's the kind of format I love and it's been reciprocated greatly. So where are we at now? So it's now, you know, September 1st, I'm 25 hours away from being in Chiang Mai, Thailand and starting the beginning of the rest of my awesome adventurous life. Um, uh, I'm almost borderline at 1,500 subscribers on YouTube, which which is nuts. Uh, you guys just keep asking, just honestly, just keep asking for whatever. Another thing that I would actually really appreciate is if you know around Europe or Asia some communities of you know um, of uh, digital nomads that or great places to live and work at, where it's fairly cheap and it's fun and you know the the crowd is awesome and uh, you know just kind of there's adventures to be had. Leave a, leave a comment below because for all you know, I'll take you up on it and I'll travel there. And uh, I've actually thought about this one thing where, you know, people would suggest locations for me or activities to do, like go to this place, go to the Swiss mountains and, you know, paraglide. And then I just do it, right? I'm just like, I'm going to take up this thing as a challenge and then go do it. I think that would be really fun. Uh, kind of, you know, letting your guys' imagination carry, carry my adventures and then you vicariously living through it with me, of course. So... You know, um, I'm back in stock on Amazon. I'm selling again. Uh, right now, it's a little bit slow coming up. So it's uh, 10 to 15 units per day, only because I got my stock back, you know, uh, a week. Like, I'm a week live now. Um, majority of my stock is on its way. Uh, funny story, Hanjin, if you're unfamiliar, you haven't heard this yet, which you should have, has just gone out of business. They just declared bankruptcy, which is the eighth largest uh, shipping company in the world. And my stuff just happens to be in one of their ships right now. So my freight forwarder is assuring me everything's going to be fine. I'm really not worried, to be honest. Worst case scenario, everything's insured. I'll just get another piece of stock. I'm just really glad that I took, you know, 20% of it by plane into the warehouse so that I'm getting some sales now. Um, and what does the future look like? So my goal for the next four months, uh, basically December 31st, 2016, I want to be celebrating with my friends, my entrepreneur friends, somewhere either on the island or on some tall building in Hong Kong, you know, just cheersing glass of champagne with 50 grand, revenue from all the sales basically sell out everything that i'm getting delivered now within four months i want to make 50 grand that is my goal right now and i'm willing to go above and beyond for my second product i'm already noticing some some little things first of all uh within uh the two uh the two, the month month and a half that i was it was being manufactured and shipped a lot of new sellers in the niche came on so i think i'm gonna have to explore new external ways of traffic such as um, you know, uh, like Tomlinson, like other review blogs reviewing my item and then sending traffic to my to my Amazon page. Also, Facebook ads, something that I've never done before, but I'm really looking forward to learning. Um, and uh, also my own Shopify store and then promoting it through Google AdWords and uh, you know and Etsy and whatnot. So there's a lot of channels to be explored. There's a lot of things to be done, and I am really excited to explore them myself to make this product work, even if it won't work on Amazon alone by itself. And then take you guys with me through the process and you know have you challenge me with some really good questions and comments and suggestions so looking forward to that but as far as this goes this is the plan this is what i'm going to be doing if you guys have any suggestions or recommendations for chiang mai thailand or for online business in general i am all ears and i will see you on the flip side